Hello, everyone. My name is Zeenat Islam, and I'm the Relations Manager Academia Network at UNIS Center. Welcome to, to the 33rd issue of our YSBC Web Lecture Session. Uh, today, we begin with some exciting news about two competitions happening. One is the Social Business Design Competition, and the other one is the Social Fiction Design Competition. These are really exciting opportunities for young people to be involved, uh, share your social business plans and ideas. And there's only four weeks left, so I request everyone everyone to please look at our social media, a social business media, you can find information on these competitions that are happening. And please participate, share your ideas. It's for you, the young people. So please look into it. Uh, I request our IT team to play the video on the competition. Imagine the life of a young person in the world of 2050. With this theme, design your fictional solution. No limits to your imagination. Join the Social Fiction Design Competition, a global event with no age restrictions. Express your social fiction idea by writing, illustration, rhetoric, animation, cinematography, and poster presentation. Submit your idea by 31st March 2022 and get a chance to win 10,000 US dollars for the best social fiction to learn more, visit our website. We also have a social business design competition, a global competition looking for youth-driven social business ideas. Help create an equitable and just world. It's simple. Choose your focus area and develop an innovative social business idea. Create a social business with a social impact. Create a social business that generates revenue. Win a chance to be rewarded 10,000 US dollars to turn your idea into a viable social business. Learn from our world-class trainings and workshops to shape your ideas and join our global social business network. If you are on a mission to create a sustainable future, visit our website and submit your idea by 31st March 2022. Imagine the life of a young person in the world of 2050. With this theme, design your fictional. Thank you very much to our IT team for playing the video. Now back to our lecture session today. Uh, the topic for today's conversation is sharing experience of social business creation, a global initiative by HEC Montreal in Canada. We have with us our speaker today, Dr. Mai Thi Than Thai, MBA, PhD, Associate Professor, Department of Entrepreneurship and Innovation at HEC Montreal. Our moderator today is Professor Mohammad Masum Iqbal, PhD, Dean Faculty of Business and Entrepreneurship, and the director of our, the YSBC at Daffodil International University in Bangladesh. I would share some information on our speaker. As I said, she is the Associate Professor at HEC Montreal, where she teaches social business, entrepreneurship, new venture creation, strategies in emerging markets, and qualitative methods. Her research focuses on the link between entrepreneurship and its socioeconomic, cultural, and political context. She has published over 50 articles in peer-reviewed journals, contributed several book chapters, and has won many local and international awards for her performance and commitment in different roles as a researcher, a teacher, entrepreneur throughout her career. At present, she's heading the global program Social Business Creation that uses gamification to teach social business and entrepreneurship with a focus on using market mechanisms to solve social issues. Uh, our moderator today, um, is Dr. Masum Iqbal, is professor at, uh, in the Department of Business Administration and Dean Faculty of Business and Entrepreneurship at Daffodil International University in Bangladesh. Professor Iqbal holds a Doctor of Philosophy from the University of Dhaka and has 19 years of experience in university level teaching. He specializes in social business and his wife, BC, has launched social business MBA courses and summer programs attracting many students from all over the world. Uh, so Bangladeshi students are interested in social business and interested in social business summer programs and courses here in Bangladesh, please do reach out. I'm sure he would be happy to help. He's the director of the YSBC at uh, the Daffodil International University and the convener of the Social Business Student Forum at the same university. So we have really two talented professionals uh, who are dedicated to social business today. And we this session is gonna go really well. I can already feel it. Uh, so let's start firstly with some opening words from Professor Mohamed Yunus. 
Professor Yunus, the floor is yours. Yep. Got it. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to you and uh, both of you. What a wonderful team both of you got. And uh, we are waiting for a wonderful conversation today. This is uh, something uh, Maitai, Professor Maitai has been doing for several years now, devoted her full attention to it. She is a real uh, firework uh, in doing this. And it's a, it's a global thing. It's not just a limited to HSE uh, campus. Uh, Professor uh, Masum um, uh, Iqbal is here. He's part of it. It's a part of the network of universities which is involved with it. So you'll have lots of uh, interesting experience shared today. Uh, we have uh, in our uh, social business uh, uh, principles, our, our seven principles do it with joy. This Mai Tai does with really fully, full joy. It's, it's a fantastic uh, opportunity to see her perform uh, with the very hard issue of social business creation. And this is uh, uh, it's not only a fun thing, global fun thing, it's a full menu uh, academic program. It's not just a one single thing. It's a composite of many things. So I wish you could uh, get the sense of it within the short period of discussion. But I welcome both of you to share with us all the things that you have been doing uh, during these past years. Uh, so I leave the floor to you, Iqbal. Professor Masum Iqbal, uh, please go ahead with your conversation. Uh, thank you, Madam Jinata, and thank you, sir. Uh, for your kind words and opening remarks uh, for this uh, 33rd OSBC web lecture series. And really, we are inspired by your words, by your kind presence, whether it is online or in person, no matter. And I strongly believe that you are such a person, not every Bengali, every human being, I believe, every human being ever born and to be born can take inspiration from you. I wish you, I wish and pray you healthy and long life so that we can get more guidance from you and we can make this world more livable. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for giving me this uh, floor and opportunity okay, to have discussion and to be a part of this wise busy family and social business family. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So in this uh, uh, Oblux series uh, with me today, I'm having a distinguished personality. Is a distinguished member of YSBC or a social business family, Dr. Mai Tai. Madam Jinath uh, has mentioned our activities relating to so it's an honor and it's a privilege for me to have Dr. Mai Tai on this uh, occasion. I mean, this lecture series, and we'll be having a uh, an informal discussion with her. I hope the audiences, I mean, my students will learn from this discussion a lot. Madam Maitai, I hope you can hear me. Yes, very well. Okay. So thank you very much, Professor Masum Iba. It's been a great pleasure working with you over the last many years to grow social business creation program. Thank you, Professor Mohamed uh, Yunus, for your inspiration and for your wonderful support to the program. And uh, we've been growing very well. Uh, you already saw in the video that we started at a very small program with only about 25 projects with 70 participants. And it started as a, um, a course uh, project uh, within a course, very small. Uh, with only low, um, students from um, Montreal and uh, around the area. But then since then, we've been uh, growing significantly. Each year we add more. So 2017, we got 35 projects. 2018, 45 projects. 19, 70 projects. And 2021, uh, together because of COVID. So that's together. We got 170. And this year in 2022, we, we got 140 projects. And so we have trained um, over uh, 1,900 participants and uh, teachers, coaches uh, around the world. 
And uh, the program, and because of the success of program, we are able to increase uh, prizes to reward the social entrepreneurs who can really make a great impact um, around the world. So the total prizes amount more than 160,000 Canadian dollars. And we have prizes for universities, for teams, for individuals, for teachers, and um, for students and non-students. So uh, this is an exciting program that rewards great performance. And, but in the, uh, the bottom line, it's a training program to teach people how to use market mechanism to solve social challenges. And we are a network, now a network of um, students, practitioners, and scholars. So we are making impact in, on several um, dimensions from uh, okay. training. Uh, Dr. Mata, uh, yes. Could I interrupt you, please? You, I know you are working for ACC Montreal, and you know uh, this is one of the leading business schools uh, in Canada, yes, uh, as well as in the world, right? And you are having uh, three accreditations so far. I know ASCSB, AMBA, and Equis, and so on, right? So it is one of the one of one of the one of one of the top business schools in Canada. However, yes. as uh, you stepped or you moved to a social business creation in 2016, right? So I see it is it it you are putting one step ahead by taking this initiative of social business creation competition from 2016 and you are taking a lot of good jobs which are related to social business and social business creation i know social business you know it is a non dividend campaign that is focusing on the social problem and we are trying to solve this uh, problem in a business manner in a business way right that is all about social business say for example but it is quite easy to say social business, but it is not easy to create a social business probably. It requires serious determination, it requires serious understanding and so on, right? And efforts and initiatives okay, to make us, to build a social business and make it sustainable. But my point is that, so you started this, this difficult initiative in 2016 in your SSC Montreal and you were the director of social business creation competition, right? So first of all, we'd like to hear from you about the story or history behind it, right? How did you start this social business creation competition? How it occurred to you, how it came to your mind and so on, right? Could you please tell us the story, how you started this creation competition or why it came to your mind and so on, please. Well, actually it started from a fierce discussion in a classroom. I remember teaching a class on uh, uh, strategies in emerging market and another class on new venture creation. And then the students, uh, one student stood up and talked really strongly about um, uh, the, the job of the entrepreneurs uh, is to create uh, money and to uh, uh, pay dividends to investors. So it's important to generate a lot of money. And then also another group of students fiercely talk about um, uh, the problem that companies uh, are uh, creating now. And then so later the students say that, okay, yeah, it's, uh, we want to preserve this world for us, the environment, the society for us, we want to improve it. We want to leave a good footprint. However, uh, as students, we are too young. We don't have money. We don't have experience. We don't have anything. So forget about making impact. So, and the students say, those for those who agree that uh, uh, you know, we have to, uh, companies have to be responsible, but they still say that, well, wait until uh, they have muscles. They, have, uh, they become rich and then they can uh, help the um, society or just wait for big companies to invest in uh, uh, social, uh, corporate social responsibility funds, or just to have the governments to solve the problem. And I wanted to show students it's not the case. So solving social problems uh, is the job of everyone. Don't wait for the government to do it. And don't wait until you are uh, rich and properly old to do that. So. Uh, anyone can uh, start making positive impact 
at the very beginning of the career. And when I show that, the student didn't believe me. It's like, no, it's impossible. And then it's like, okay, then I will show you how. Uh, then that's how we uh, came up with uh, creating a course on um, uh, social business creation. And then when I uh, created the course and we started with the uh, uh, pedagogical materials and then the students say, yeah, but the examples are too far from us. These are uh, very uh, uh, rare people. Uh, not like us. No, we are small potatoes. We are just students. We are not that intelligent. We don't, are not that rich. We can't do anything. So then uh, we thought of, okay, then why not help a group of students to create successful business? And then we show students, hey, look, these students are just like you. They come to the program, they study just like you, but now look at where they are, the kind of impact they're creating. So then that's how we came up with the competition uh, concept, uh, starting small, but then we grow and uh, we use gamification to engage students because talking about impact, uh, students still see that it's way too far. So we create short-term incentives for students to um, get motivated. So um, every two months, there could be some prizes for certain uh, milestones, certain achievement in the process of social business creation. And then we see that the students are extremely engaged. And uh, we are very happy that at the end of each season, uh, most of the comments we receive are very, very positive. And many say that social business creation program is a life-changing experience. It teaches students, not just about business, but it teaches students about life, about how to create impact from um, different roles, because not everybody will become entrepreneur. So we, the students who might work for companies or create companies, but now they learn how to create social impact by using market mechanisms. And so that's how we've been growing. Uh, uh, and we grow very organically, meaning the participants from the previous editions become our ambassadors to recruit students for our uh, next edition. Yeah, so that's uh, how it's been uh, developing so far. Okay, thank you, Maite, thank you so much. So, so what about this current institution or kind of status about a social business creation competition as you are the director, right? So you know anything, everything about uh, the development and progress of this creation competition. So what about the kind of status of this creation competition? Well, so um, social business um, creation, now we have eight officer partners in, uh, well, your university is this one from the, uh, in Bangladesh. We have Unicios from Brazil. We have Ana Huac and Vera Cruzana from Mexico. We have um, Universidad de Val in Bolivia. We have Universidad Austral in uh, Argentina. We have the T Business School in Germany and we have Foreign Trade University in Vietnam. And we also have the FIB from India and we are still growing our network. This is a training program. And, you know, uh, and we are very aware that when we talk about the concept of social business or we talk about social profit, many students think uh, that it's impossible. It's just um, a wishy thinking. Uh, but then we demonstrate with real examples and our students have scored great success. So just you saw in the video, some of the examples uh, but I invite you to go to our website to see uh, the, our alumni, what they've been doing. So for example, to Bodega, our uh, a participant in the 2019 edition, last year received $3 million investment. So imagine students uh, starting with a project from a class and then from this competition. And then after uh, now almost three years, more than two years, just two years and a half. They've been growing significantly. And uh, we have great lots of stories. I don't know if I have uh, time to cover here, but uh, we have 
whole range of companies from very small companies to big companies. Uh, people with million dollars investment and other with just a uh, few thousand dollars investment. But whether the companies they create are big or small, they are creating real impacts around the world. Okay, thank you, Dr. Maithet. Thank you so much. If I'm talking about the creation of a social business, you know, it is uh, never ever easy, right? Uh, first of all, we'll have to address the problems, social problems, first of all. So mm -hmm. then we'll have to develop a business idea because social business itself is a business, business as well. Then we'll have to develop concept, right? Concept for goods or services, which will be marketable, which will be marketable. Then we'll have to go for a strategy development, marketing, financial, and other, other, other business strategies we'll have to design and develop. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go for production or procurement. Then we'll go for the delivery or commercialization and so on. So, so many stages we'll have to go through. We'll have to pass to, to create a business. Or that is a traditional business or social business we are talking about. But in case of social business, we'll have to address social problems first, based on which we can design the business. So, for example, so it is a very serious and rigorous process, I believe. Uh, could you please uh, highlight some few aspects of your competition uh, so that the participants or audiences can understand the process of participating in uh, this comp competition? And uh, um, so other universities, you have mentioned some universities and other universities can follow or can replicate your model, right? So probably yes. uh, we'll be able to disseminate the idea of social business uh, fast yeah. to, to, to the young staff or to the young individuals, especially in the school, college and universities. Yes, so I agree with you completely that social business is at the bottom line, it's a business. Social is the objective that describes the kind of business that the entrepreneur create. So this word social is for both mean and end. So the business is created for the betterment of the society. That could be to solve a social problems that already exist or to uh, create a better future based on a vision of a better society. And by, it's also social in means, meaning that we collaborate with different stakeholders in the ecosystem. So both mean and ends are social. That's the first. And then it is a business. So it has to follow, it has to respect all the principles of business. That's why we teach students how to use market mechanisms. It's, uh, I remember when I first introduced the concept at my school and some professors even say, my, you come from Vietnam, you are preaching communist economy here. And we say, no, uh, it's not communist, it's not capitalist, it's social. And um, here we want to explain to people the concept of social profit. Uh, it, you have to create a positive impact for the society and you have to create a net profit to, uh, uh, for the business to go on. You have to make profit to pay well your employees, to pay well your suppliers, to pay well other stakeholders in your ecosystem. And uh, so this is not pure philanthropy where you just give, but you must be able to generate profit. And now the process of how we teach students to do that because social should be the beginning and the end. So at the beginning of the program, people enter with a one-page proposal of the uh, social issue that they want to address. Here, we don't want to say social problem, we say uh, social challenges. So um, uh, then the uh, people say, this is the challenge I see. That is how I, uh, I think it might uh, work out. And with that very vague idea, when they enter the competition, in round one, we would have students just to work on the problem, on the challenge, or on the visions of the social issue, to understand the root cause. And, uh, and we don't want them to think about money at all. Right? Just look at this challenge, try to understand it, and um, uh, ask the question, why? And that is the first round of competition for two months. We teach students how to generate social innovation. Once they come up with a list of potential solutions, uh, then we'll teach them how to make money on that. 
So yeah, because you have a good solution that can really contribute to the society. Now we teach them how to discover customers, how to sell the mission or how to sell the product and services, how to organize resources. Uh, and that second round of the competition that will be on uh, business. And round three of the competition is on execution and scale up because round two is only about the design of a business model. Round three, really about uh, scaling it up. And the final round, it will be in Montreal, that will be on the acceleration of impact and uh, social profits. So the first three rounds are online where students and teachers work uh, with us online. They follow our online course. And also we have global events. So every round of the competition, we have global classes where we meet directly with the students. So the students will benefit from our pre-prepared courses online in the MOOC format. They will benefit from our global training sessions, and they also benefit from the local support from our partner universities. And, uh, and we train the trainers. So every year we train between uh, 70 to uh, 150 teachers uh, and coaches uh, who will be our extended uh, hands to help students. And if you look at our website at socialbusinesscreation.hc.ca, you'll be able to see the list of certified trainers who passed rigorous training programs and who are ready to help and uh, to coach students to uh, become better version of themselves through uh, entrepreneurial actions. And so we are looking for uh, partners. So we are uh, growing around the world and we recognize the importance of having um, a local sensitivity. We want to be a global organization, meaning we have a global vision, we have global leadership, but we are very sensitive to local issues and local challenges. That's why in our competition, participants can work in the language where we have our partners. For example, they can work in German, in Spanish, in Abala, in Vietnamese, in Portuguese. Um, and you know, as we go and we will build resources so that participants can work in the, uh, the language of their choice. Only when they are nominated for global prizes, then they will need to have their work translated into English or have translator that come with them during their presentation. And our program is free because we, um, uh, we want to reward the people who really put the labor, the hard work in uh, field work to create real impact. So the program is free. And if you know about HEC Montreal, you know it is very expensive. HEC tries uh, uh, being the best university in uh, North America, among the best. You see that we are constantly in the top rank in whatever ranking you look at, whether it, um, and we are we have the triple crown that all of accreditation ever that uh, ever exists that we have all of them, and so that why we have uh, our programs are extremely expensive, around four thousand dollars per week, but social business creation we're able to offer it for free for uh, participants uh, as long as they have the heart and mind and uh, the determination to create social impacts. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Malte, for your uh, excellent uh, 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 deliberation. Uh, by the way, uh, you know, uh, there are more than 100 USBCs across the world, right? In the social business center, more than 100, right? Yeah. So, so do you seek collaboration from all these USBCs or what kind of responses you are seeking from all these? Wise BCs, yes. right? If you if you seek their collaboration or cooperation to this social business creation competition, what is your experience about the cooperation and responses from all these wise BCs across the world? Yeah, so uh, thanks to Professor Yunus, so we get to know more uh, uh, why uh, SBC centers, uh, the Yunus songs, um, and these uh, universities are already motivated in training their students to become more socially responsible. And um, they already have a lot of programs. So we want to plug in 
uh, be a good plugin. We do not ask them to change their program. We want to be a plugin. And we collaborate on three levels. On teaching, uh, so where the students can join the competition, so be, they can get credit from their university. And on top of that, they can get prizes and certificates from uh, SBC. And uh, so that is for training. And we also offer training of the trainers to the uh, universities that want to work with us. So we enable the teachers, the faculty members to better coach the students. Um, uh, that's level one of collaboration, it's on training. Uh, level two of collaboration is on research. You know that we organize conferences twice a year uh, in January and in uh, June. Uh, right now, the conferences are in Montreal, but our vision is to have one in Montreal and the other uh, in another country where our partners are. So hopefully we bring that conference to Bangladesh soon uh, and um, uh, other, so it's an open invitation to uh, universities to collaborate with us on research. We need to develop more pedagogical materials that can be effectively, um, uh, uh, can, can uh, really uh, uh, help the students learn more effectively. And we also want to publish scientific uh, articles to advance theories. So we want to advance in theory and practice and training. Uh, and then we offer collaboration and faculty mobility. So the least that HEC Montreal opens its door for visiting researchers. Uh, so we have a project together, you can come here and uh, we can provide you with uh, access to our library, which is the biggest in Canada for the business collection. Uh, and also the co-working space. And hopefully that you can, uh, partners can welcome our researchers to their, uh, um, the, their, their university. And we want mobility among our partners. So right now we have eight official partners. And so uh, we hope that, we hope to see a very good uh, exchange of professors among these uh, universities. So including HEC, that will be uh, nine. So we have nine hubs uh, with HEC is one and uh, eight other. So that is level two on research and uh, training. And level three is where the partner become our clone, where they can, uh, uh, we, we will need to uh, properly train um, the, the staff and then the uh, universe, partner university that acts as our clone as a hub can train other uh, schools and recruit them into our ecosystem. And uh, you know that besides the conference, we also collaborate with journals to publish special issue. So this year we'll have journal of small, uh, of small uh, business and entrepreneurship to host a special issues with us. And we also work with, um, uh, publishers to publish book series related to, uh, related to social businesses. So then, um, well, in the near future, we will create our own journal in uh, social, uh, social business and social innovation. So a lot. So we are growing every year with new programs. So we, we grow by the number of participants, by the number of offers and, um, yeah, and the quality of uh, our work too. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Martai. Uh, by the way, as uh, you have mentioned that, as uh, I appreciate your ACC Montreal uh, uh, for your openness uh, 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 to be uh, collaborative with all the YSBCs across the world, right? So I appreciate your openness and I hope YSBC is a very big family, and we are trying to, we'll be trying to extend our family members across the world. And I hope with this collaboration, the cohesiveness, the relationship among these YSBCs will be enriched. Thank you. Thank you so much. And by the way, as you have mentioned, that the conference you are talking about, right? We, yeah. I mean, definitely International Ministry uh, will love to host this conference at our campus. Under the guidance oh, of Prof. Wow. Yunus and Yunus Center, if you want, we definitely will collaborate. And we have the experience mm -hmm. working with you and the ACC Montreal, you know. So we love to uh, host this conference uh, in our campus. 
as uh, the situation of COVID is improving day by day, hopefully we can get back to the campus uh, very soon. And another guidance of the UNIS Center and Prof. Unis, and we can host this uh, this uh, this conference in our campus. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness and openness to all the USB uh, YSBCs. And by the way, you have been organizing okay, this social business creation competition since 2016. So you are you are organizing this uh, competition, and we have the experience of attending four sessions. So in this competition, I'm talking about Daffodil. So what are your experience? What are the challenges you are facing or you have faced in organizing such a unique uh, competition? Or what are the learning points? Uh, do you like to share anything about your about the challenges you have faced or learning issues or learning points? If you have, you, you can share with audiences. Yeah, social business creation program is uh, a living lab in itself. So we have lots of challenges. We are all, just like any social business, we learn uh, why we do. Um, so we develop, so we also have to manage uh, scale. So when you have only uh, 60 students, it's easy. But now where you have um, uh, five, four, 500 and plus alumni that also uh, go back and contribute. So uh, we, we deal with uh, about 800 people active at any moment. Any, any given time. So, uh, and in the future, it will just uh, increase. So we have to build a, a platform. So we are in the process of doing that. And, but the challenge here is first of all, to um, uh, convince students to join the, uh, the program because where, where you cannot ask a person who has never seen a car to manufacture a car, right? So, the students who have never seen a social business or never learned about social business now ask them to create a social business. So that is really a big challenge. Uh, so we, um, we have to find a way to uh, engage students more, to uh, um, bring them into the program, and then they can learn uh, why they uh, work on the field. And so that's why our mechanisms is to collaborate with universities where the, uh, the name of the course may not have to be social business. So it can be any uh, course like social innovation or uh, new venture creation or uh, startup. So these words are very sim uh, familiar to students and the students can use, um, can start the project from these classes uh, and then gradually we explain to them the difference between a traditional business and a social business and why social business will be superior in the long run. It will give a um, better return for the uh, entrepreneurial team as uh, business people, but as also as human being. And if you look at the list of the companies that survive more than 50 years, you will see that all of these companies have very, very strong social mission statements. Um, and so it's great to uh, introduce students uh, gradually. So that is the challenge and the solutions we have. We also have other challenges of languages as we are uh, growing. So at the beginning, SBC is only in English, uh, but then we realize that if we only offer it in English, then only the rich could uh, uh, enter our program because it takes years to learn a language and you have to be of certain uh, level of affluence to be able to afford English courses. But now the people who are at the forefront of social impact creation may very well be the people living in those, uh, with those social challenges. So, and, uh, and so we decided to open it to other languages. But then the challenge is now collaborating a global program in multiple languages. So we have our training session, uh, global training session right now, it's still in English and our partner universities offer simultaneous translation. So it's still working, but um, uh, we still need to uh, really improve on the system to be more effective. Uh, when the students can just work within the, the language and focus on 
the, um, the, the, the actual practice in, in the field more than being uh, deterred by language barriers. And with the languages, uh, so when we, every um, office uh, we have abroad, then uh, the office has to invest in uh, the human resource and then also the student assistance. And then it's it, uh, when we uh, offer other languages, then um, the, the partners also have to deal with uh, multiple languages issues. But uh, hopefully with technology that we are not at least for our online course, so um, we could get it translated or students can use a Google Translate to get an idea and the, the uh, software gets more and more complete, sophisticated. So it's not the best writing yet, but uh, it, uh, it gives the, uh, the idea. But then we are trying to work with our partner universities to have the real good translation of the material uh, so that we can uh, provide to the students. But in any case, for now, our short-term solution is that we train the teachers. So those teachers can transfer the knowledge. So these teachers understand English, right? So they read the material and they use that to teach the students. And we prepare our material in a way that can be used to teach uh, the beginner or at the very advanced. So our materials can be used uh, to teach uh, even high school students, bachelor students, master student, even PhD students. Uh, then in our training, the trainer program, we explains how we uh, make it possible. And we will uh, guide the trainers on how to use our material for different types of audience, for the audience who are already in business uh, uh, and uh, the audience who is not in business and at different level of um, uh, cognitive capability and analysis capability. And um, uh, also the, our training of the trainers uh, is an online course for the three type of, um, a, a tr uh, certification. For each round, we have certification at three levels, uh, foundation, associate, and expert. We have the certification on social innovation, uh, on business model innovation, on the social business implementation, and the last one is on acceleration. So, and the same as our conferences. So we do it hybrid. People who can come to Montreal, great. If they cannot, then we accommodate through online training. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Maite. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, you are taking a very big responsibility that you are giving training to the trainers. You are creating trainers. And that is very, very important. Quite important because uh, so the more trainers we can have, uh, probably the better we can disseminate the idea of social business uh, to others. And the right knowledge, as you have mentioned, the right content is important. What we are communicating about social business, right? So by the way, can you make a very short comment on the content of uh, training? So what are the, what things you focus on in your training? Just, you're the director, I, I hope okay. you know. So, so for the training of the training. Take a short comment, a very short comment, please. Okay. As we are running out of time, right? Just you make a short comment. All right, so for training of the trainer, so if, uh, we offer it only once a year because we, uh, it uh, goes together with the um, competition because the trainers are required to uh, work on the field with the students as well. So we'll have the foundational course at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's in February, which passed already, where the uh, teachers will learn about the methodology and the foundational knowledge. And then, uh, and then we have to specialize training. Uh, and teachers are required to not just uh, listen, they have to be very active in the learning. Uh, they train, the, uh, they have to work with the students and with us supporting in the uh, background. And the uh, uh, training of the trainers uh, is not free. Uh, there is a course for that. Uh, you can go to uh, on our website to learn about the program and the cost. But we are aware that teachers from developing countries may not have the financial strength uh, to pay the full fee, uh, but then they can apply for financial assistance. And we will work with our sponsors to see whether it is possible to help. And also our partner universities have certain number of free seats 
in the program, according to the uh, memorandum of understanding that we signed together. Um, so, for example, the uh, at level one, then we offer one free training, and then based on the number of students that are in your program, then we can uh, uh, add the number of the teachers that we train. Yeah, and okay. if you are at the level two, then we're more. So yeah, if anyone interested in this, uh, training of the trainer uh, from the university uh, admin, then contact me. Uh, and for those only teachers who want to join without any uh, support from your school, um, you can also contact us to um, uh, find out more detail and how to help you join okay. the program. Uh, thank you, Vaita. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, uh, social business creation competition by ACC Montreal, I believe it is a global platform. And this competition is becoming popular day by day, right? And probably uh, so far, 1,500 participants in 477 teams participated in this competition, global competition. Uh, from 131 universities uh, from 23 countries. So it is getting popular day by day, right? Just can you make a short comment or a quick comment about what kind of, uh, what kind of proposal or what kind of plans you're receiving from all these participants? If I'm talking about say area of business, so someone can go for merchandising business. So we do not limit by the uh, discipline. We want people to start with their heart. You see that at the back of uh, uh, whatever we do, it's a heart here, you know, and then you have the human at the center. So yeah. we, we do everything with, uh, with a heart, right? So um, what we we'll teach students is how we don't teach them the solution. We teach them how to find the solution and how to make money on the solution they can find. So the principles stay the same. So we do not claim to be an, the expert in all the domain or discipline, no. We just teach these people the process, how to make it happen. And then they apply it why, with our uh, support, with our uh, help. Uh, to make it uh, happen. And now we are having, we are building a very strong alumni network. So these people come back to help. Uh, and these are highly motivated social entrepreneurs. Okay, and, thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Mahathir. Uh, thank you so much. It means that uh, since social business is based on say, social problem, right? So any sector, a particular participant can go for. And probably as uh, Prof. Yunus uh, has raised the question that whether people for business or business for people, right? And you have mentioned uh, that uh, so starting or uh, building a social business so someone can become superior. So that is a very big opportunity as a human being in this world, right? My last question, as we are running out of time, my last question to use that. So what is the vision for the next eight years? I'm talking about ACC Montreal. What is the yeah. vision for next 10 years okay, regarding social business creation competition by ACC Montreal? We yeah. are building an Thank ecosystem. You. So a vision for the next 10 years that will, yeah, yeah. so we are always the leading uh, um, institutions in uh, training social business creation. So we, we are already number one and uh, we want to be, always be number one and we will have a stronger network and with a very good ecosystem where scholars can work with our participants uh, to create new theory, to make serious uh, scientific publications where businesses can join and uh, offer internships to students and at the uh, same time get uh, great ideas and labors from the students to work on. And uh, well, of course the training. So in the end, we wanna build a very strong ecosystem where we can make impact through training, research, uh, practice and policy uh, advocacy. So we will have our own journal, we will have our book series, uh, and we will become a uh, case publishing house where we are the uh, curator of all the cases that teach people how to do uh, um, business and uh, create social impacts at the same time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Maite. We're running out of time. In fact, we're at, we at the end of our discussion session. And it has been a wonderful session and it has been a learning session for me, right? I hope the audiences will benefit uh, listening to you, the issues we have discussed again okay, in the session. 
and you are talking about the ecosystem and uh, since i am representing daffodil international university and i am the director of the ysbc at daffodil so we are also having the having an ecosystem for entrepreneurship right we are giving highest emphasis to create entrepreneurial and social entrepreneur in our country as well so it has been a privilege for me to have you in this discussion and i pay thanks to you center for giving me and giving us this opportunity to share as a about social business creation cooperation to, to to other individuals so thank you dr maite thank you so much for being so wonderful and being, uh, for giving your time in this discussion thank you so much yeah i would like to thank uh, to all the attendees and the people who are watching the session uh, on the internet so uh, we know that uh, unison has the audience around the world with the 98 centers, but also thousands of people are watching us uh, from all over the world. I'd like to thank you for uh, attending the session. And I really, really hope you will join us. Uh, we have different roles for you to play, whether you can come as a contestant or as a trainers that we, uh, to learn more how to train students or businesses who want to learn how to transform into uh, social business or you want to offer opportunities for students or, um, uh, or you want just to learn from the uh, students and scholars in our network, or you can come with us as scholars uh, to do research together and publish together. And of course, it's very important to thank you uh, for the great moderating session. Thank you, Professor Yunus. Thank you, Lamia, thank you, Zinat, thank you all uh, people in the background. Uh, thanks to you that the session goes very smoothly. Thank you and I really look forward to meeting you online or at ATC Montreal. Thank you very much. A big round of applause to both our speaker and moderator. This was a fantastic session. Uh, thank you so much for sharing about your social business creation. Uh, as uh, Professor Maithai said, it's not just a competition. It's something big, much bigger. And the best thing is it involves so many people from all over the world. I know there were some winners uh, from Daffodil University even. And it's just wonderful to see such young people come up with social business solutions. Um, we have been fortunate enough to attend some of the sessions organized by Daffodil University, which is a part of the social business creation. Uh, the Bangladesh chapter has been organized by Daffodil University in the past. And it's just so wonderful to hear the presentation of young people come up with innovative solutions for social problems. Uh, so our best wishes for the competition for this year. And I encourage everyone, if you are um, you know, this year, the next year, and whenever possible, do participate in it. It's a great competition. It's a lot of mentors. Mentorship is extremely critical here, and you get to, you know, work with such a prestigious academic at such a prestigious organization. So I highly encourage everyone to be a part and explore the social business creation competition. And we also at Unicenter have the social business design competition and the social fiction design competition. So uh, there, we will play some slides and video material on it soon. And uh, everyone, you, it's about two, three, four weeks left to participate in that. So please do check out our social media for participating. Aside from that, we also have our social business day coming up very soon in June, uh, the preparation for which has already begun. Uh, it will be a hybrid event, some live, some virtual. We will be playing all the sessions um, on our social media and Zoom platform so everyone can watch. So please uh, watch our slideshow and video material on that event too. It's social business day, our annual gathering of social business experts, practitioners, uh, students, academics interested in social business. It's from June 27th to June 30th, 2022. So uh, mark your calendars for the, com the social business day and all our upcoming events. Um, of course, our social media has posts on everything. So thank you very much. We will see everyone again in our next lecture. For now, we're going to play a uh, the slideshow and video material on what's coming up. I request the IT team to please say that. Thank you very much, everyone.
Thank you very much. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.